So eat less and exercise more does not work. If you eat less, you only land up feeling more hungry. Gun, oh. Eating less. This I have seen in my personal life. Mm. I lost, I lose seven kilos. Mm. Again, I'll go back. Yeah. And one or two. Days. Our bodies are not machines. Calories in and calories out. Another big lie. Mm. Big mistake. Big okay. myth. I have seen many young doctors dying and people are dying with cardiovascular disease yeah. and even in the cath lab of ours we are yeah. seeing nowadays 30 to 35 year people are coming for stenting and the, the real cause of heart disease is chronic inflammation in the body which is caused by this chronically raised hyperinsulinemia. Got it. So it making the body metabolically flexible. So Metabolic. what I have been doing is So now the audience and my, even myself are excited to know the secret formula of how you lost 30 kilos and uh, the, see the best part is not losing 30 kilos, uh, many people lost 30 kilos but maintaining it, maintaining it with ease. I am because I, I don't see that you are any stressed out to maintain that you are doing it with this. So how to do that is a very valuable uh, information. Yeah. And uh, as I said, knowledge helps. One of the most misconceptions people have about losing weight is eat less and exercise more. That is the advice which the mainstream medicine yeah. have been giving for the last 50 years. But clearly that has not worked. So eat less and exercise more does not work. If you eat less you only land up feeling more hungry. Oh, you eat up. Uh, yeah, up then more. what happens when you stop, uh, that period goes away, I mean, and then, then that becomes a diet. Mm. You know? Got it. So, uh, it is, this is not a diet, this is a lifestyle. So, what happens, All even eat, uh, a lot of studies have been done on eat less. But at the end of it all, what happens is the people gain more weight when they had begun eating less this i have seen in my personal life mm. i lost i lose seven kilos mm. again i'll go back yeah. and one or two kilos for the same level i'll go so that is what because the hunger comes back yeah. the main thing is to do something which is natural to the body so that hunger doesn't trouble you okay so and even exercise more people will say the exercise more studies uh, extrapolated to say that as you grow older you will grow more weight and you keep on running more and more more and more how impractical you can be and then they are saying that you have to run a half marathon every day to lose weight it is not possible so that is not knee scientific. joints will get affected actually. yeah yeah so that it does doesn't make sense so the ex the secret is not eat less and exercise so, more oh so that one has to realize that we do not gain weight because we eat more many people feel guilty mm. that they are gaining they are eating more they are gaining weight no we gain weight because our fat cells are accumulating fat due to some other reason okay. our bodies are not machines calories in and calories out another big lie mm. big mistake big okay. myth that is not so our bodies are not machines that will measure calories no wild animal measures calories they'll be and, fit and they are fit so it's not a calories in calories out thing our bodies are physiology our body is full of hormones so whenever you eat something hormones come into play oh. and the master hormone is insulin okay so what is happening is in the modern way of eating where we are advised to eat small small meals throughout the day you know uh, that keeps the body in an abnormal state of hyperinsulinemia. So that is now that is the multi uh, six time uh, yeah, day, eight three times meals and three snacks. Yeah, three snacks. And people have a late night snack also. Yeah. Even even the you look at a standard hospital diet chart, they will give you eight meals. Yeah. Yes. In, in frequent intervals, which I think is a disaster metabolically. Oh. It's a disaster because what happens is the more frequently you eat, more frequently your blood sugar levels go up and down and more important than that, more frequently your insulin levels go up and down. Now insulin pan is manufactured by pancreas as you all know, very small organ with very few and that too beta cells, very early, a clump of cells inside a small organ. So that was never meant to be so high. Oh. Throughout, once again, go back to evolution for an answer. If you look at evolutionary, we never ate these processed starches and hmm. carbohydrates never ever before. So what happens is there is a chronic level of hyperinsulinemia throughout the day. We sleep for seven eight hours, and God's gift, our body's gift, 
we wake up with a low level of insulin but soon as we get up we eat a very rich carbohydrate breakfast whether it is sandwiches or cereals or you know uh, chapati <laughs> or but once again the sugar shoots up and then after 2 hours you feel hungry again because uh, the then, uh, pancreas over functions biscuits or coffee yeah biscuits coffee with lot of sugar plenty, in there lot of sugar in there plenty available so whole day your insulin levels are going so as long as your insulin levels are high insulin holds on to the fat the excess of sugar glucose is converted into glycogen and then into fat okay you get okay. a fatty liver and then that excess of it accumulates in the viscera and this mind you this visceral fat is very very dangerous Yeah, most prone for cardiovascular diseases. Yes, yes. it causes a yes. You know, know many that. young, uh, I've seen many young doctors dying, and people are dying with cardiovascular disease. Yeah. And even in the cath lab of ours, we're yeah. seeing nowadays 30 to 35 year people are coming for stenting. Absolutely, and the number is increasing. I think yeah. this related to this yeah, very much. This question I all I am always asked: Why are young Indians having heart disease and dropping dead? Mm. Whether it is celebrities or uh, average person or a doctor in the 30s and 40s. Yeah. it is all related to hyperinsulinemia and insulin resistance yes. what you must realize is the real cause of heart disease is not the healthy saturated fat the real cause of heart disease is chronic inflammation in the body which is caused by this chronically raised hyperinsulinemia got it so if that is high insulin levels are high no matter how much you exercise it is not going to release the fat inside you it will try to retain the fat it will try to retain the fat and that is where the heart is strained okay. and this inflammation of hyperinsulinemia is what causes heart disease in atherosclerosis also will be more yes. during this period is more so it is not the ldl once again mm-hmm. it is not the ldl it is not the cholesterol so, so eating cholesterol is not so dangerous that's what you're saying not at all in fact um the the american uh, journal of american cardiology american journal of cardiology has published an article last year saying that we should not restrict saturated fats oh it is does not cause heart disease and in fact protects against heart disease okay so that is there is i can give you the link of the article if you want we'll put it in the description yeah j s c j a c c article so um, uh, what we should be afraid of should not is is man made fats oh. you know the 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 white oils mm. when which we are which are marketed as heart healthy they are the most dangerous <laughs> the most unhealthy there is nothing up they are marketed as vegetable oils there is nothing vegetable about these vegetable oils okay they are seeds which we are not meant to digest they are heated up at 1200 degree centigrade mm. deodorized chemicals are added colors are added and when the by the time they come to our table they are highly inflammatory and we cook in them and eat them because we are told they are heart healthy so the ancient man was not doing all these things so we with the modernization and technology we are doing all these things and destroying our own body absolutely Oh. Absolutely, this is the saddest part of our, of our evolution, and and not only that, the tragic fact is, for the first time in the evolution of Homo sapiens, I would say, once again, we have a generation of population which is going to have a lifespan lesser than the previous generation. Oh, can you imagine the enormity of the statement? So, so far, we have evolved. to increase our life Life expectancy it is going up yeah. actually now the next generation is might come down yeah people dying at age of 30 40 just just like that recently one uh, an, even an anesthesiologist died recently so uh-huh. it is there is such a tragic sad thing and uh, i think we need to put a check to this with this video is something known as um, uh, riga um, uh, in reference to whatever we have discussed till now that uh, uh, having a low carbohydrate diet is a therapeutic measure so it is it is uh, not only uh, intervention which uh, helps in weight loss it is an intervention which normalizes your metabolism the intervention goes down to your mitochondrial levels to your cellular levels so much so that your body is forced to utilize not only glucose but an alternative fuels which is known as ketones okay got it now these ketones are breakdown of fatty acids which are already stored in your body we have plenty of energy left yeah but the problem with mainstream doctors is the moment you hear the word ketones they go into a fit 
This is mm. oh, it's, it is dangerous. Yeah. Because we have learned about ketones, ketoacidosis, in diabe- as diabetic ketoacidosis, which is a very rare condition, yeah. which occurs only in type one diabetes, that too, yeah. once in a while. But ketones, mind you, are miracle molecules. They are not. They are breakdown of fatty acids, and they are very much an alternative fuel for our body. So much so that it is said that the brain can utilize ketones better than glucose. Oh. A person who is in the state which in which your body yeah. is forced to utilize uh, or made to utilize ketones as a fuel, alternative fuel, is known as a state of nutritional ketosis. Nutritional ketosis. Yes. So okay. this nutritional ketosis, nutritional ketosis, can be very good for this is a normal state of being. A baby is born in a state of nutritional ketosis because it eats only its mother's milk, which is full of uh, fat. Got it. And this nutritional and these ketones can be a very good molecule for not only energy, they are anti-inflammatory. They have therapeutic value. They have therapeutic value also. and epilepsy. And that was how first yeah. it was discovered. Yes. We use in neuro ICU in refractory epilepsy mm-hmm. patients and everyone. A ketogenic diet is also Atkins yes. diet. It is called. Uh-huh. It's also being tried. Yeah. Okay. So that, that is very fantastic. Thing. That uh, ketogenic diet help in epilepsy is well known since yes. 100 years. By decreasing inflammation. Yeah. That's, just, yeah. that's why I'm quoting the example. 100 years. But what it is not yet become mainstream, but increasingly evidence is gathering that it helps in all metabolic disorders. Yes. So, so previously it was thought that brain will survive only on glucose, but even uh, I mean even as sociologists you all know that even I read that brain survives on glucose. If glucose is not there, ketones also. Ketones also. And I, we are, I have actually read about cases where the blood glucose level measured is 20, patient yet the patient is fully awake. That's um, because he's surviving on ketones. Yeah. At that but point. The, yeah. Brain has to get used to it. Yeah. All of a sudden, if I uh, starve you, oh. <laughs> or rather, uh, then uh, there'll be a crash. I think now we are coming to the actual uh, <laughs> secret formula. Yeah. <laughs> All of us so, losing 30 kilos. That's my audience are eagerly waiting to know that. <laughs> there is, uh, as he said, uh, uh, as, as I said before, um, managing to take the body into a state of nutritional ketosis is what the secret or the science i would say more than the secret the science behind it is to keep the body in a state of nutritional ketosis got it which means making the body metabolically flexible metabolic flexibility means the body can your body cells can utilize both glucose and ketones as a fuel and it can switch in between the two it's like having an engine with you know hybrid engine which can run on two fuels battery or petrol if needed so that is the wonderful state of a normal person but we should not spoil it by eating in a wrong manner as i as i have said before so to keep the body metabolically flexible you have to keep the insulin levels low okay got it so your insulin levels will determine how flexible your body is whether to utilize uh, glucose and uh, ketones as a fuel so once your body is metabolically flexible you can eat a little bit of carbohydrates so it can take in that much so i'm not saying that you completely give up uh, carbohydrates green leafy vegetables uh, some amount of fruits are okay when fruits means you should one should eat fruits as fruits only and only in that season and that to you know moderate level not fruit juices not canned juices are out Fruit juices are made at home also is not advisable. Okay. Too much of a fructose load, which is metabolized only in the liver. So what I have been doing is, uh, I have been uh, once I went low carbohydrate. So I my carbohydrates are restricted to green leafy vegetables. <laughs> okay. So that is that would be my staple, and uh, I would eat a lot of protein and healthy fat. So the so, carbohydrates from green leafy vegetables is almost like zero for most of us. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, they are good carbohydrates. Yeah, and, true, true. I agree. And, totally and understand. And whatever grows above the ground, yeah. which is green and leafy yeah. and has a lot of fiber, yeah. while the jury is still out on fiber, whether it is really needed or not, that would be another discussion. Yeah. But as of now, fiber helps a lot for the microbiome of the gut, which is uh, uh, another part of our healthy yeah. body body so my uh, so then i found that uh, just by going low carb i lost a lot of weight but i wanted to even uh, take it a step further 
which is when I uh, also incorporated something a very powerful tool known to humankind for thousands of years which is fasting which is intermittent fasting is the correct word so uh, this intermittent fasting is a part of our evolution because we have evolved for me once again I keep on going back to evolution yeah, you know. so that helps us to understand yes, for yes. millions of years when we evolved there were ice ages there would be severe winters ahead when we would not have food to eat and whatever and uh, we food we would get before winter we would gorge and eat it oh. like uh, some animals which hibernate nowadays we would have also gone through those phases mm-hmm. so our bodies are actually genetically adapted to not eating more than it is adapted to eating frequent meals throughout the day oh, wow. that is what we must realize so fasting means if you fast for uh, i would say for a beginner 16 hours a day and that our forefathers used to do yes. the 12 hours and in the, culture it is there yeah, in all is. the religions yeah. there are uh, rituals where you need to fast for one day yeah. or yeah. Uh, twice a week exactly so many, it yeah. has been a part of our culture and yes. religion and i have seen my grandparents fa- fasting every day eating yeah. just once a day so it was not new to me and i read up the science on it science means even nagm has a review article published on the benefits of intermittent fasting favoring intermittent fasting yes and not only that the nagm article written by mark matson one of the premier neuroscientist uh, <laughs> and he has advocated that that should be taught to every medical school it is such a powerful tool so it is very much uh, modern medicine to say that intermittent fasting is perhaps the most valuable and powerful tool to deal with metabolic diseases once i incorporated that i not only gained more energy i i um, developed a muscular body without even doing much of organized exercises how how is your energy level when you're not eating because you need to do anesthesia yeah, yeah, you need to think exactly. take many people think that uh, fasting will deprive you of energy levels but no what fasting does is as i said it reduces your insulin levels and the body becomes metabolically flexible and taps into your own body fat for your source of energy that once that is done second thing which happens is that when you are fasting and your insulin levels are low a lot of noradrenaline is secreted Oh. that gives a fantastic amount of energy high will come yeah <laughs> and in the long run uh, intermittent fasting by intermittent fasting you can uh, the body generates a lot of growth hormone okay. so growth hormone is something which keeps you young and people spend thousands of dollars in mm. a, yeah. <laughs> for growth hormones and free it is free, it is free inside <laughs> you and it it keeps you young it keeps your muscles going yeah. and you know the ancient men never went to the gym they did in fact they were very lazy the ancient if you go back to evolution they used to hunt once they got the hunt 3 4 hours back home eat whatever hunted and relax for the rest of the day they had a much better life so uh, what i did was it uh, it was uh, i added on intermittent fasting uh, to a low carbohydrate diet and that worked like i was more energetic did not feel hungry so this freedom from hunger is something wonderful wow it is liberating i mean you don't have to bother about food freedom. i can work more freedom from hunger yes not this point yeah freedom from hunger so and you not only not feel hungry you not only don't feel hungry you feel more energetic throughout the day hungry and happy yes <laughs> <laughs> very very energetic and um, Uh, you can utilize that time i don't need a lunch break yeah i i i tell people to go for lunch you really i really them <laughs> but i don't i don't feel hungry you are best for uh, uh, long duration cases i think so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah don't take a break in between i don't, I don't need <laughs> breaks i mean i may go out for uh, yeah got it bit, yeah a little bit of water or coffee or yes. that too without sugar so that's it and uh, and now it has become a habit Got it. Non-wing ingredient. So, so the secret um, came to know now. That is yeah. intermittent fasting. Yes, fasting so and a low carbohydrate diet. What ab- what is the okay? What is your opinion about uh, OMAD diets? One meal a day. Yeah, uh, that is what I do. Okay. Intermittent fasting. That is next means, level of intermittent. Yeah. So after 16 hours, I went up, pushed it up to 18 hours. Then go. I always say, go slow into fasting. Don't jump into it because the body is not used to it. 
so if you are uh, trying to extend the duration of fast and you think that you are feeling hungry so then break the fast that day the next day the last meal suppose my last meal of the day ends at 10 pm eat a little more of the fat and the protein Correct. because the fat and the protein is very satiating mm. and that will allow you to your body to go prolong the fast so now it has happened that i eat only once a day like night sir yeah only the dinner mm. that is so 23 hours yeah. so 23 is to 1 okay which is a one meal a day uh, as deliberately sometimes i fast for once in 3 months for say 48 hours and once in a year 3 days so that is uh, it is set to generate something known as autophagy okay and regenerate your immune cells the there is a lot of research on it dead cells are eaten away by yeah, the yeah. Phag- phagocytes uh, uh, the 2016 nobel prize went to a japanese scientist for discovering autophagy due to yes, fasting i read about it yeah so that is what i try to do once in a year and uh, they are saying that the aging also will reverse yes so uh, that is because of the growth hormone oh, okay as i said yes. because growth hormone is liberated and uh, that uh, growth hormone preserves your muscle as you know in our country as people grow older they 50 plus they they, become, they, they lose their muscles they lose them. they become a shrink shrunk fra- fra- yeah. so that is uh, once again a very sad thing to happen i believe that uh, so you believe that that is also in our control yeah that is also in our control i believe that uh, we all have a life span no mm. doubt we also have a health span mm. and our life span and our health span should always almost be the same okay we should not spend the last you know few years of 15 our, 20 years yeah 15 20 years taking a lot of medicine be bedridden get our knee replaced that is not our body is meant till to the end functional vision. yeah one should be functional right till the end okay so that is what our bodies are capable of and we'll and enjoy the process yeah, yeah. and perfectly it can be done yes. our bodies are fantastic healing machines only we ourselves are standing in the way so we need to get out of the way got it you know we with our wrong beliefs and wrong information which has come so that needs to be so clarity brings so okay. what is happening is it's uh, the nutrition has become business driven sir nowadays yes. so a lot of uh, fats are there yeah. and uh, they have to promote so many uh, breakfast foods they have to promote the you know lunch foods so many uh, big big ho- hotels and everyone relying on the revenue yeah, generated unfortunately so, so uh, as i always say that uh, the plan to keep the population sick is a big one <laughs> so, so uh, unfortunately, um, um, breakfast is a marketed concept. Yes. To have even 200 years back, um, man would have to go out hunt or you know at least work, and then he would earn his bread and eat. But now it is readily available and commercials all over. So breakfast is the most important meal of the day. That is what is said, and nothing could be further from the truth. I have not had breakfast for the last twelve years. <laughs> See, so <laughs> I, I tell this has, to many people. Yeah, so uh, it's not. I mean, um, uh, eating small, small meals throughout the day. So this is the drive of the food industry, mm. and when you fall sick. And the for the medicine the drug industry is there to give you medicines yeah so this is a um, this is how it has become um so and the big lobby and the other th- third part is uh, the health is also become an industry yeah, correct. unfortunately we doctors are, we are just pegs in the entire entire view. very unfortunate but uh, once again only the knowledge the right knowledge will give you the truth and as it is well yeah. known the truth can set you free we don't have any conflict of interest so yeah. we will talk truth <laughs> we will have to <laughs> we'll have to tell see you. that is why we became doctors when yeah. i started why i also tried to help my friends once i realized that why we became doctors we became doctors we wanted to people to become well yes that is the biggest satisfaction of our life right. a patient becomes well but what we have been seeing that in modern medicine as far as acute care is concerned when something goes wrong heart attack trauma accident we we are fantastic yeah. we are like gods we are like advanced yeah we are like god but when as far as this chronic conditions are concerned diabetes hypertension obesity heart disease we have failed miserably because so, all the great minds are going into the advanced yeah. areas despite of all the advanced it's not helping yeah. 
we are not helping so one reason i think is uh, it is my own interpretation that we have come from an era of antibiotics mm. where it worked miracles it yeah. helped us to do so much saved so many lives yes. so when we thought the modern medicine as modern medicine yeah. practitioner we thought that when these metabolic diseases came and diabetes came heart disease came we would also apply the same formula here you know uh, drugs pills correct and that would also work but unfortunately that has not worked mm. so that is where we have gone wrong and that is why it needs to be corrected it's so, more about prevention i think we have to focus yes. on yes not only prevention low carb is therapeutic okay so okay. it can be reversed type 2 diabetes can be reversed there are enough publications wow. that yes type 2 di- no one no one should it suffer unnecessarily from type 2 diabetes if you ask me so, so if type 2 diabetes can be reversed there are so many things which can yes, be reversed yes. and, and i say this hypertension can be reversed yes, easily hyper- hypertension is nothing but hyperinsulinemia mm. and since we did not understand it so far we used to call it essential hypertension <laughs> which means we don't know the cause so if you do intermittent fasting you'll save a lot of money in uh, food oh, yes. you'll save a lot of money in your medicines also absolutely absolutely so that is uh, i i say this to people who ask me per patients rather who ask me my doctor what i'm going to eat then mm. if i don't eat uh, you have to take a decision whether you want to invest in your food now and have a good health or become sick and spend huge amounts of money in trying to get well so that is a call everyone sir. has to take <laughs> thank you very much sir for thank giving you. your this thing and yeah. uh, for my subscribers i was actually 108 uh, kilos uh, 108 108 yeah in 2008 <laughs> i was 108 kilos from uh, that point i started uh, slowly i didn't do intermittent fasting since then but i was also doing it since 2 uh, and after 3 years i tried the several techniques and failed so exercises and fa- what about now there are like functional exercises are there cardio exercises are there uh, not eating so many things some uh, so many ty- types of diets uh, nutritionists i met got my lipid profile ev- whatever i did failed and uh, intermittent fasting is the easiest thing among ev- all yes to follow yeah. and uh, the why it is easy is uh, uh the craving part is very minimal i feel here. yes in other methods what is happening is when you try to restrict the food the craving is like immense so the motivation level goes down after a week or so or 10 days after that you will again start uh, eating the thing intermittent fasting the craving is very minimal so you don't require so much motivation every day to maintain it so it becomes a habit right more than so every day you don't have to think that i have to do this because i have to do yeah. this like that yeah. it just it just becomes a part of your living and uh, you just live like that and people surrounding people are also uh, getting motivated with that in my hospital when i started i was the only one now uh, six or seven anesthesia consultants are doing this fantastic and fantastic. many pre diabetics uh, have, have become normal now. and the weight is also 7 like, to 8 kilos is the mean average weight everyone lost amazing So yeah. I will show my uh, I will yeah. put my photos and I have helped post. many people to reverse the diabetes and you know, get rid of their weight so it's a fantastic experience so uh, thank you very much sir yeah, for coming into the channel and giving yeah. your uh, secret formula and says <laughs> this this particular video okay. will help many people yes and uh, even it helps one person that is, that is more than you <laughs> more than <laughs> both of us are very much on social media yeah you can contact him contact i am i will give you my links yeah sir um, links are there in the description yeah. you can uh, just yeah. click on the link and uh, follow his channel in fact i have a facebook group and the name of the facebook group is are you as healthy as can be yeah that is also so, there in the description are, are you as as healthy as can be so that uh, you can join and, and let this not be the end of the conversation yeah let this be the beginning sure we will keep we'll on have, uh, more uh, yeah i think we have just met today <laughs> and we have found so much in common and yeah. i wish this will this to continue sure sir this will continue yeah, uh, and uh, <laughs> subscribers uh, yeah. my subscribers will love you because they are also a similar mindset guys Fantastic. most of them are in usa Fantastic. so they will love your uh, concepts yeah. they will Absolutely. follow them absolutely thank you very much that. sir thank you thank you fantastic